Hello everybody, I have just downloaded the Cube Hamster Challenge number 3 or something like that. And I thought I'd film my attempt at trying to solve it. I watched the video and I'm pretty sure um, I figured it out right after he told us the hint was the name of their society. So we're going to test this out. I haven't tried this yet. I, this, I just barely downloaded the map. I'm kind of getting some lag right now for some reason. So I just downloaded the map and we shall see if... I'm working on some other stuff right now. We'll see if I can do it. Oh, don't want to fall off there. Woohoo. Welcome to the secret society. Pedals around the rows. To prove that you are worthy of being a member, you must crack the secret of our society. We will roll six dice. Each roll will have an outcome only members know. Once the answer... Once you answer correct five times in a row, I think it's supposed to be once, not ones, you will have obtained our biggest treasure. Alrighty. This is kind of a cool room, I'm not going to lie. And the only hint you get is our name, the secret society of the petals and around the rows. I'm pretty sure I figured it out right as he uh, showed me that hint. So we'll see if I do. Uh, we'll roll the dice. Holy cow. Got some lag going there. Um... Yeah, I'm a little bit curious. I like to do redstone as well, and I love dice, so I'm a little curious on how these dice work. I'm gonna, after I do this video, I'm gonna go and look at them. What maybe watch the tutorial or whatever the, that he posted about them, and then I'll try rebuild it. And maybe use it in something of my own sometime. Um, yeah, he said these sometimes take a little while. Holy cow! Sometimes they take a long time. Those two are just going on, rolling for like five miles. Oh, come on. I wonder how these work. I am kind of curious. I want to go look at them right now, but I'm not going to do that until I finish the video. Any day now. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, really? Six, a one, a four, a five, and then two that are just still trying to figure themselves out. <clears throat> I wonder if we can input the number right now and it'll do anything. Probably not. Is this default at zero? I forgot to press that. I'm curious as to what the number is, too. I'll go look over here and see what we can find. When you open these doors, you will have obtained a treasure that will last you a lifetime. You will follow in footsteps of thousands from all over the world. Oh! I think that means... I don't know if you heard that sound. I heard it. I'll turn the volume up. It played a little ding sound, I'm guessing from that little box right there. Like, maybe not, actually. Whatever. There was some sound. Alright, so look at these. I'm gonna say the answer is four. <laughs> so, zero and four. Ta-da! And is this how we input it? Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Haha! <laughs> so I guess I got it right. Um, so now I roll the dice again. Ready, set, go. Huh? Dice are rolling again. Alrighty, that's kind of a neat little thing right there. I want to figure out how that works too. Alright, you will follow in footsteps of thousands from all over the world. Is there like a chest in there? No. Oh, there's a doorway over there. <laughs> nope, never mind. That's not a doorway. Maybe there's a chest behind that wall. Or maybe it's just signs that explain what the secret society is. Or something. Those top two like to roll forever. Da na na na. Alright, well, I'll wait. I'll go look around a little bit. I'm working on building my first redstone calculator and display right now. I've never done displays before, so it's super, super new for me. And I'm also trying to build, wee sounds, a calculator, which is very new for me as well. I think the answer this time is four again. 
Uh, I'm just going to type it in just in case. Bing, boom. Alrighty, and input. Let me make sure. Yeah. I've never done this puzzle before. I just, I saw the name and I was like, oh, that's obvious. And I looked at it, and then I watched, looked at the two numbers that he did. I'll actually roll the dice again while I'm talking. I looked at the two numbers that he did, and I kind of made my own assumption, and I guess I was right. Uh, by the looks of it so far, this could, I guess, take a long time. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, the calculator. I'm working on a calculator right now. It's pretty insane. Um, <laughs> I've almost got it working. It's kind of tough, I'm not going to lie. I've never done... Oh, I thought I pressed the pressure plate. I was like, oops, didn't even do that. Okay, so don't go over there. Um, yeah, so I've never built anything like a calculator before. I mean, I've built lots of password doors. Those are usually the main thing that I build. Um, I'm going to say 12. Yeah. One, two. I've got a display kind of like this one. That works just like that, but there's a lot more that it goes into. Anyway, 12, yeah, press the button. Dun, 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 dun. 12, yahoo! All right, roll the dice again. And then another project I'm working on right now, which isn't really related to redstone, are these rolling? Yes. Is I'm building a maze map kind of thing, kind of like the Hunger Games. It's, oh, that was fast. It's pretty fun so far, it's gonna be pretty big. Um, what is this? 16? <laughs> um, I don't know if any of anybody watching this, I don't know who ever even watches these videos, but I don't know if any of you played my first map. It was pretty fun. Basically, the way that it worked was uh, throughout the map are four hidden diamonds. It's supposed to be kind of like the Hunger Games or something. But throughout the map are hidden four diamonds. And you have to go and find the diamonds and use them to build a diamond pickaxe. And then you find it in an obsidian door. Are these rolling? Yes. You find an obsidian door that's hidden, uh, sort of, in the map somewhere. And you use a diamond pickaxe to break through the door and you get your prize. This is going to be similar to that, but it's much, much bigger. It's, the map's going to be a thousand by a thousand, which I guess isn't that big but I'm putting a lot of work into it. There's tons of different biomes. There's temple, castle things that you get to conquer and pass. I think it's six. Ooh, this is the last one. This is gonna be interesting. Now we gotta see what happens. Six. Press the button. So yeah, uh, maybe stick around. I'll throw something up about that later on. Wee hoo victory was mine. Alrighty, I might have to cut this part out, so if I disappear in a couple seconds, that's why. Uh, yeah, so let's go see the thing. Woohoo! Congratulations, you may now officially call yourself a member of the secret society of the petals around the rose. You follow in the footsteps of thousands of others from all over the world. From this point on, you have the privilege to lay this puzzle before other people. At the same time, it is now also your duty to protect the secret of our secret society. The power of the secret is that it remains a secret. We hope you enjoy spreading this puzzle for many years to come. Hooray! I discovered the secret. Whoops. I have lots of keyboard shortcuts, so I pressed a button. I use every single key on my keyboard as random things. These are just going crazy, huh? Well, alright, so I'm going to cut the video off right here, and then I'm going to go look at these dice. Or I'll probably just go watch the video that he posted about the dice. And yeah, so thanks for watching. I am now a member of the Secret Society of the Petals Around the Rose.